get one more time. One more time. Hey, it's like hard, bro. We're going to finish the game off. I ain't got no words. 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 Chevy's Inside High School Football is brought to you by your North Texas Chevy dealers, proud sponsor of Chevy's Inside High School Sports, and by Verizon. Millions of switch from cable to Fios, and now we're making it even easier. Visit Verizon.com for availability and special offer details. Also brought to you by Goodwill. Our business works so other people can. Welcome to Chevrolet's Inside High School Football. I am your host, Matt Barry. And when it comes to the perception of Texas high school football across the country, normally people think of the movie Friday Night Lights, where the whole town lives and dies with the results of their beloved hometown team. This week, we found a matchup that could very well fit that description. Two powerhouses in 3A went at it Friday night with classic small town appeal as the Stephenville Yellow Jackets paid a visit to Alvarado in our game of the week. Alvarado head coach Jeff Dixon was trying to devise a plan to stop third-ranked Stephenville and their dangerous wide receiver Bryce Gunter, who was heading to Texas State. After a scoreless first quarter, the Indians strike first. Kenny West, the play fake, lobs it up to Jake Geo for the three-yard touchdown. Alvarado up 6 zip. Fast forward to the third quarter, Alvarado drive it again. Watch Brest roll out, pump fake twice, throw into Jared McCarver, who adjusts nicely to the ball and catches it at the two-yard line. After a penalty drop them back a few yards, Lee Hardy takes the pitch, scores from the four. Eighth-ranked Alvarado up 12-10. Yellow Jackets started to work the passing game. Tyler Jones over the middle to Alex Sanchez, who literally Drags the defender 10 yards to the goal line. That's aggressive football. Stephenville would fumble it away on the next play. Yellow Jack would get the ball back and then score when Jones goes to Gunter for a 19-yard touchdown. Stephenville up 18-12. Fourth quarter, watch this trickery. Jones takes off before he gets the snap, so the ball goes to running back Wint Westbrook, who then pitches it to Jarrett Stidham, who then throws it back to Jones for the 46-yard touchdown. You, you follow us? 25-12 Stephenville led. But don't count out the Indians. They drive down the field, and West hits Marcus McNeil for the 19-yard score to make it 25-20. We have a football game. But when they needed a big stop, Alvarado couldn't do it. Under two minutes to play, third and 10, Jones goes to Sanchez on the quick slant. Sanchez takes it to the one where they would later score. Stephenville wins a highly entertaining game, 32-20 to five. Standing room only for one of the Metroplex's biggest rivalries, L.D. Bell versus Euless Trinity, although it hasn't felt like a rivalry for Trojan head coach Steve Lineweaver, who is 12-0 against Bell. Second quarter. 3-3 game. Watch Bell's Colson Romano avoid the rush, throw it up to Ryan Newsom for a 10-yard touchdown. Blue Raiders fans going bonk airs as they take a 9-3 lead into the half. But that's why they play two halves, folks. Third quarter, Trojan quarterback Matt Hawkins takes off to his left, cuts up the sideline, hurdles a guy, and scores a 21-yard touchdown to give Trinity a 13-9 lead. Then the wheels start to fall off for Bell. Punt to Jordan Lindner, drops the ball, gets drilled by Jalen Johnson. The Trojans scoop up the fumble at the two. And to make it a complete disaster for the Blue Raiders, Hawkins busts up the gut for a two-yard touchdown. Now it's 20 to nine. Next Bell possession, Romano's pass is tipped into the waiting hands of Brian Potomi, who takes it up the sidelines into the red zone where Trinity would score. Trojans make a line we were 13 and 0 against Bell with the 27-9 win. Let's head to Highland Park where West Mesquite was visiting Tennessee bound Cameron Miles. He's one of the area's best defensive backs and the Wranglers would need him for this one. Pick things up, West Mesquite up seven, but the Scots are driving their quarterback Jet Tuma drops back and has some time to read a book. Plant a garden, write a book. Tons of time finds Charles Hubbard in the end zone 25 yards out. I'd say that's quality protection right there. Then on the Scots' next drive, Tuma decides to call his own number, has to break just one tackle before he gets in for the score. Again, the bigs up front getting it done. 
Then the Highland Park D provides a highlight here. Chase on Virgil tries to hit a Killian Butler, but the ball pops in the weight and hands of Guy Tom Kellogg. And this is what all defensive linemen dream about. Kellogg rumbles, bumbles, stumbles all the way back deep inside West Mesquite territory. Way to go there, fella. That was set up Tuma again, fakes the handoff, screws through the right side of the defense, walks in for the easy score. Tuma, a big game. 200 yards passing, two touchdowns and runs for two more. Highland Park flexes their muscle in District 10-4, the dominating 41-21 win. Jeff Jordan's Garland Owls may be 0-4 in non-district games, but they've won the ones that mattered most. Garland looking to move to 3-0 in District 11-5A. They could beat Saxy last night. Quarterback VJ Gates will get things off to a good start on this third down. He'll tuck it and run. And look at the sweet spin move. Gets down to the two-yard line after the 17-yard gain. He'd punch it in a few plays later to make it 7-0. But Saxe could score in a hurry behind quarterback Kent Myers. Here Myers hits Tyreek Edwards on the slant. Edwards takes it the rest of the way for 48 yards as the score ties the game up. Still in the first, 14-7 Saxe. Gates hits Jatavian Green in the flat. He eludes one defender, then turns it upfield. 27 yards to go deep into Mustang territory. That would lead to another short green TD run to tie it at 14. Then the Owls got defensive. As Myers rolls out the pass, look at Dre Shane Glass get horizontal as he lays out, makes a great interception. Garland goes on to win 23-21. It was a somber night at Neil Wilson Stadium and Flower Mound has compelled coaches, players, and fans remember the tragic loss of fellow teammate, 17-year-old Jacob Logan, who died in an accident at Possum Kingdom Lake last Saturday. His sister Jordan honored his brother by wearing his number 21 jersey and joined the team at midfield for the coin toss. Now to the game and Flower Mound has the ball deep in Cowboys territory. But Connor Wanahan's pass gets deflected and intercepted by safety Chris Atkins. A couple of plays later on offense for Cuphell. Watch here as quarterback Colby Mayhem throws a beautiful pass downfield to Cameron Smith inside the Jaguars five. That would lead to an eventual touchdown. Early in the second quarter now, watch this incredible display of speed by Cuphell tailback Gavin McDaniel bounces outside, darts 75 yards to pay dirt. And with heavy hearts, the 7-0 Cowboys pull out a 27-18 victory dedicated to their fallen comrade. We certainly send out our condolences to the Logan family. He will be missed. When Chevy's Inside High School Football returns, we'll show you a wide receiver looking to rewrite the record books. It's Chevy Truck Month. Time to get in and grab a Silverado at your Chevy dealer where you'll get a great deal on the most dependable, longest-lasting, full-size pickups on the road. So gear up and get going. Get your hands on a legendary Silverado while the time is right. See your North Texas Chevy dealers. Now, during Chevy Truck Month, get 0% APR financing for 60 months or trade up to get the 2012 Chevy Silverado Texas Edition with a total value of $8,000. Hurry in before they're all gone. It starts with a donation, but to Goodwill, it is about changing lives. Yeah, Goodwill, you have me. So the only way you have me. So I go to Goodwill for 52 years. Donate to Goodwill today and change a life. Your donation starts the cycle to help get someone back on their feet. Visit us today at goodwillfortworth.org to learn more. Goodwill, the business of changing lives. of silence for the internet as we know it. A revolution in internet speed is here. More than twice as fast as anything America has ever seen. Introducing Fios Quantum. Attention high school athletes, you've had it all. The thrill of victory, the camaraderie, the teamwork. But once the final buzzer sounds, which team will you play for next? Your answer, join the E5 team of electrical professionals through our scholarship opportunity. It's a lot like a team uh, where people have your back, um, they take care of you, they teach you. I'm making bank and they're training me to be the boss. So go to e5scholarship.com for more information because it's not Friday night without the lights.
Chevy's Inside High School Football is brought to you by Chevrolet. For more information on your North Texas Chevy dealers, go to ChevyDealer.com. The Coach of the Week is brought to you by E5. DFW electrical professionals providing scholarships for students because there's no Friday night without the lights. Today's E5 Assistant Coach of the Week is Sonny Galindo of Saginaw High School. He's the defensive coordinator for a Rough Rider team who only had given up three touchdowns through the first six games. Galindo is also the head track coach and teaches AP economics. E5 supports all coaches throughout the Metroplex. Welcome back to Chevy's Inside High School of Football. Jordan Shipley, the former UT wideout, holds every significant receiving record in Texas high school football. Career receiving yards, touchdown receptions, you name it, the Burnett grad owns it. However, on Friday night, Jesuits Jake Oliver was looking to snag one of those records for himself. Oliver entered last night's game with Lake Highlands just five catches away from breaking the career reception mark of 264. Let's see if that record went down as the Rangers took on the Wildcats. And you know that record has to be on Jake's mind heading into senior night. But Jesuit would get the ground game going first here. Jake Bazette hands the ball to Orion Salter. Salters goes straight up the gut from 16 yards out for the first score of the night. Then Jesuit would just start chucking it around the park. And you know to who? First, Brazette hits Oliver on the deep in route amongst all traffic. Nice grab. Then a few plays later, Brazette hits Oliver on the out route for a small game. That one tied the record. So all he needs now, one more. Brazette again hits Oliver on a similar route. And there's your record, folks. Catch number 265. Wow. Nice work, young man. Oliver actually finished the game with, get this, 15 catches. The kid just has a knack for the ball. Now it's for the game. Lake Highlands defense would show up big. Here, Brissette drops back, looks for Oliver. Jesse Johnson there for the INT. Johnson a tough task in this one because he had the job of covering Oliver. But Johnson not backing down here. Brissette scrambles to his left, looking for Oliver again in the end zone. But Johnson there again for the INT. Great D all game by the Wildcats. They would go on to get the close win in this one, 20 to 17 over Jesuit. Hope y'all watch, because that ain't go. They ain't got no respect for it. So we gonna hold take it. All right, Saginaw deserves respect now, sitting at 6-0, but they were running into a bus on Birdville led by quarterback Justin Martin, who was thrown for 21 touchdowns on the year. First quarter, Hawks go to the ground as Xavier Turner takes it outside for the five-yard score. He ran for 127 yards on the night. Next, Birdville possession. Turner tries a more direct route right up the gut for the six-yard score. One of three touchdowns for him. Birdville leads 14-0. And after a long kickoff return, the Rough Riders get on the board. As Russell Murphy goes straight ahead for the six-yard score. However, Birdville would keep it on the ground, too. Martin, the quarterback keeper, gets a huge hole and then uses a sweet spin move to pick up some more yards. The Hawks go 8-0 as they win this fight, 35-14. Running back Brian Driscoll is one of the top rushers in the area. He and his McKinney Boy Broncos had a 9-7 lead on Plano in the fourth quarter. That's where we picked this thing up. Plano tries the halfback pass. Taylor Fan picks it off, but you see the yellow flag. A lot of contact. Pass interference. Wildcats get a chance to hit the goal line, and quarterback Richard Lego capitalizes on the short TD run. Plano up 14-9. But don't celebrate too soon. Next thing you know, Driscoll, the big boy, bust a 55-yard touchdown run. And Boyd is right back on top, 15-14. Late in the fourth, Plano on its own one, but this helps. Lego goes deep to Antoine, makes a great grab for the 34-yard game. Plano's still alive. Boyd defense stiffens up. Tyler Ferguson and Ross Batisic get to the quarterback, cause the fumble. Adam Brown recovers for the Broncos and that would do it. Boyd gets the hard-fought 15-14 road win. And for that, the McKinney Boyd Broncos are our Chevy Team of the Week. We found another athlete in Plano who is not only hard to stop on the softball field, but in her community as well. She's our Verizon Community Leader of the Week. Plano softball coach Cynthia Z considers Julia Knight to be among the top 1% of student athletes she's taught over her 11 years at Plano. And why not? 
Julia's only been an academic All-American and an NFCA American Scholar Athlete for the past three years. Besides being extremely dedicated to her studies, Knight is also a four-year outfielder on the Wildcats softball team. This year, as a senior, she became the leader of the squad, a role she takes very seriously. I'm more of a lead by example kind of person because I feel like a leader should be somebody that inspires others to be successful. And I hope that when my teammates look at me and see me hustling off and on the field and putting in extra time and dedication, they're inspired to do the same. When she got here her freshman year, she already had all the leadership skills that you hope to cultivate over four years. She walked in with them her freshman year. So um, I would say, yes, we've had kids come along like Julia, but Julia is definitely the cream of the crop. When Julia is not studying or helping lead the Wildcats on the softball field, she is usually giving back to her community. Not only is she a student Congress chairman, Knight and her teammates also tutor fourth graders, but her favorite charitable work comes at Christmas time. It's a very important organization, but we always can have a little fun with it. Um, typically, we kind of pair up with the softball players. You all get your own little partner and you decorate a box. And then later on in the year, we go to a Walmart or grocery store with the team and we pack the boxes with tons of food and deliver it to the organization so people that aren't as fortunate as us can have good meals for the holidays and stuff. So it is a very important organization that's dear to our hearts, but it's also a lot of fun for us. So. Julia Knight's shining example of what a leader should be is why Verizon is proud to donate $1,000 to the Plano softball team in Julia's name. Julia is certainly a special young lady, and we wish her the best. When Chevy's Inside High School football returns, the South Lake Carroll Dragons look to take over sole possession of first place in District 4 5 a Chevy's Inside High School football is brought to you by Goodwill, the business of changing lives. Not only that, the Silverado's powertrain warranty is 40,000 miles more than Ford. And this workhorse gives you the power of a V8 with the highway fuel economy of a V6. Incredible, right? That was an amazing test run. I agree. See your North Texas Chevy dealers. Now, during Chevy Truck Month, get 0% APR financing for 60 months or trade up to get the 2012 Chevy Silverado Texas Edition with a total value of $8,000. Hurry in before they're all gone. Hey. Hey. What is that? It's the new Big Tech sandwich. Looks good, man. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Dad. Are but, those tender strips? Yeah, but. Oh, man, Texas toast? Dad, Mom got you one, too. She did? <laughs> Want a bite? Introducing the Big Tex Tender Sandwich. Thick slices of Texas toast, two crunchy tender strips, lettuce, pickles, and mayo. Try one for only $2.49. Only at churches. You bring it home. It starts with a donation, but to Goodwill, it is about changing lives. Yeah, Goodwill, you have me. So the only way you have me. And I go to Goodwill to 50 years. Donate to Goodwill today and change a life. Your donation starts the cycle to help get someone back on their feet. Visit us today at goodwillfortworth.org to learn more. Goodwill, the business of changing lives. For over 160 years, National Life Group has helped Americans plan for a successful future. Through our member company, Life Insurance Company of the Southwest, we help school employees prepare for a secure retirement. To demonstrate our commitment to the communities we serve, our Life Changer of the Year program rewards school district employees who make a difference in the lives of students. Nominate a Life Changer from your school today.
Chevy's Inside High School Football is brought to you by Chevrolet. To see who is named this week's Chevy MVP, log on to InsideHighSchoolFootball.com. And check out the Verizon Fios TV High School Sports Widget. Catch the best in Fios area high school football exclusively from your Fios TV remote. It's as easy as clicking the widget button on your Fios TV remote. Access today and enjoy the action. Welcome back to Chevy's Inside High School Football. A lot of great matchups on the docket, so let's get back to the highlights. South Lake Carroll had a stellar year so far behind Texas A&M bound Kenny Hill. To keep that going against fellow district unbeaten just Northwest wasn't a gift. After rushing for the first points of the game, it was obvious Kenny Hill, he was living up to the height. Here he looks poised in the pocket, spotting Mike Gardner. Hill fires a bullet across the middle for the second touchdown of the game. Big Texas no more, but little Texas looking for a new gig as the Northwest mascot hopes his Texans don't get burned. Kenny Hill was on fire. Here looking for Keaton Duhon. It doesn't get much prettier than that. That pass, good for 32 yards. The Dragons continue to blow up the scoreboard. 294 yards passing on the night for Hill. Also tied for the team lead in rushing yards. Here he picks up 44 of his 74 total as he shows he's not just speed, but power. Good player they're getting over there at Texas A&M. Shedding defenders and finally diving into the end zone, which completes a three-play, 72-yard drive for our goodwill. Drive of the week. Carroll now sits atop top of the district with a 45-0 win over Northwest. Over to Marcus Marauder Stadium in Flower Mound, where it's a battle for the axe. And for Marcus coach Brian Irwin, it's been a tough year. He's seen both of his sons, including Cole right here and Cade Irwin, go down with season-ending knee injuries, both playing at quarterback. Coming out of the break, down 17 nothing. The Farmers would show serious fight. Third quarter here, tailback DeAndre Brown cuts across the field, dashes 37 yards, putting a little mustard on the end for a touchdown. Next drive for Louisville, they would close the game to three points. Quarterback Matt McDougal connects with Joe Quai Davis for 44 yards down the sidelines. He escapes the last chance tackle right there, 17-14 Marcus. But Marcus will put this game to bed with a long back-breaking fourth-quarter drive. Here quarterback Brian Vaughn rolls left, hits Logan Sepinick with a nice catch on the sideline. A few plays later, Flower Mound Marcus running back Court Prescott Dives in from one yard out and put this thing out of reach. Marcus goes on to win this rivalry game, 24-21. When Chevy's Inside High School Football returns, we will have our plays of the week. Chevy's Inside High School Football is brought to you by National Life Group. Nominate a Life Changer of the Year. Log on to www.your403bclassroom.com. It's Chevy Truck Month. Time to get in and grab a Silverado at your Chevy dealer where you'll get a great deal on the most dependable, longest-lasting, full-size pickups on the road. So gear up and get going. Get your hands on a legendary Silverado while the time is right. See your North Texas Chevy dealers. Now, during Chevy Truck Month, get 0% APR financing for 60 months or trade up to get the 2012 Chevy Silverado Texas Edition with a total value of $8,000. Hurry in before they're all gone. Are you ready for some football? Don't miss any of the action with Verizon Files TV High School Sports Widget where you can get high school football videos, photos, scores, and stories all through your Fios TV remote. Click on the widget button on your Fios TV remote to launch the Verizon Fios One High School Sports Widget. Follow your team through the regular season all the way to the Texas State Championships exclusively for Fios TV customers. The Thompson Group at Classic Chevy has more than 2,000 Chevys in stock, including 100 cargo vans ready for work. We have many selections and financing options available for you, all in a relaxed family environment. The Thompson Group at Classic Chevrolet. Relax and enjoy the difference. These days, while everyone is finding ways to cut back, you're still making sure that your family gets the meals they love. Right now at Church's, you can pick up nine mixed pieces of our juicy, hand-breaded, hand-battered chicken for only $9.99. Church's, you bring it home. Need maintenance on your car? Then go to the service section at www.classicchevytexas.com and print your way to big savings on your oil and filter change, tire rotation, and much, much more. Classic Chevrolet. Relax and enjoy the difference. Whether it's lunchtime, dinner time, or anytime, you can always count on churches for great values on your family's favorite chicken. 
Like right now, you can pick up three legs and thighs or three tender strips, each with a biscuit, for only $2.99. Only at churches. You bring it home. Chevy's Inside High School Football is brought to you by Chevrolet. To see who is named this week's Chevy MVP, log on to InsideHighSchoolFootball.com. Also brought to you by Church's Chicken. Come into Church's Chicken right now for great deals on your favorite made fresh all day chicken. Only from Church's. You bring it home. Welcome back to Chevy's Inside High School Football. Let's take a look at a wide receiver in Crum that has put it together on and off the field. He's our Church's Scholar Athlete of the Week. Tanner Rankin has been a captain for the Crumb Bobcats for the past two years. Rankin is a 3.55 GPA and ranks 38th in his class. He has a passion of photography and also coaches the wide receivers for a local Pee Wee football team. Congratulations to Tanner Rankin for being our church's Scholar Athlete of the Week. That's going to do it for this week's show. Be sure to join us next week when we will have highlights of a huge game in Garland when the Owls take on South Garland. Until then, have a great weekend, everybody. Time now to get you in the zone.